George Boy from the Just Say Boy Sports Podcast. Coach, next game you're hitting that midway point of the season with this group against Phoenix. What's been the thing that's been that's made you most proud of this group? Uh, like you said, because there have been things the team's had to deal with with a lot of expectations that you know those teams don't. Showing up, man. You know, they, they could have gotten really down and um, and just kind of scattered. And I, I am so proud that they, they kept showing up. Uh, we're, we're getting better. You know, offensively, we're middle of the pack in the league. Um, you know, we've got to do a much better job against these. I mean, this is who we're trying to be. We're trying to be the Seattles and the Phoenixes and the Vegases. That's who we're aspiring to be. And so we've just got to learn from this game. But... You know, just just keep getting better. We got to just keep getting better. That was a Christy sides after the Indiana Fever loss last night in Seattle to the Seattle Storm, a, a game in which the Fever actually scored 77, but gave up 89 points. Look, if anybody is on a hot seat in the WNBA on the coaching side of the fence. It's absolutely Chrissy sides. We will get into more of that press conference in just a little bit, but just for a second, think about what the Indiana Fever actually have coming up next. They've got the Mercury, the Aces, and the Liberty. After that, uh, they get to play the improving Washington Mystics team. Then they play the Mercury again. Then they play the Minnesota Lynx, and then they finish off with the Dallas Wings before they get a month off for the upcoming Olympics. Theoretically, it wouldn't be surprising to me if in their next seven games, they actually only won two of those games. That would leave them at nine wins and 17 losses, which, by the way, would not be much of an improvement over last season. I swear, to say Christy Sides is on a hot seat makes as much sense as actually saying water is wet. All right, um, we are going to um, throw up a picture next of uh, Caitlin Clark and Christy Sides. Just take a look at this picture. Clark looks like a kid who has been scolded and clearly isn't listening to his per his his or her parental unit at all. It is so clear to everybody outside of the Indiana Fever organization at this point that Christy Sides has absolutely lost the locker room at this point. Will something be done about that? I'm not sure. Let's hear more of Christy Sides press conference next. I feel like almost every post game, Caitlin says something about, uh, I need to do a better job hunting my shot. Do you want her to shoot more? Do you, are you, do you feel like she's not taking enough shots? Yeah, Kay- Caitlin Clark needs to shoot a minimum 15 shots a game for us. I mean, she's got to get shots. We've got to do a better job of, of setting her up and, and setting some really good screens for her to get her open. You know, the way people guard her, it's tough because she's getting redded. So once the ball's out of her hands, she's setting our, the rest of our team up for some really great looks. But when we're not able to finish those, we've got to make sure we're going back and trying to get her back to that ball, getting that ball back in her hands at times. Do you want to be her to be able to you said the screens were going to come off instead of just ball screens? Like for her to just come off, shoot, catch? Like she didn't do that well at college. She always had the ball in her hands. Yeah, I mean, you know, the way we're the way teams are player, I mean, if she gets a ball screen, they're just going to do everything to take it out of her hands. They're going to red her. I mean, that's what she's getting every time. She's getting some pretty good looks when she's off the ball. But, you know, we like her on the ball, so we just got to figure out how to manage the two. So it's nice of Christy Sides to actually admit what everybody in North America knew. Heck, everybody in Europe and everybody that follows basketball around the globe actually knew, which was Caitlin Clark needs to shoot the ball more. I mean, that is really what it absolutely comes down to, isn't it? I mean, how can... Christy Sides, who at the beginning of the season actually was limiting Caitlin Clark's ability to shoot, actually flipped the switch now and enter into a press conference basically saying she needs to shoot the ball more. Caitlin Clark, in the loss against the Storm, actually only shot the ball nine times. She is trying to get the rest of her team involved, which uh, at this point hasn't really panned out to the level that she had actually hoped it would pan out to 
All right, up next, we've got um, some sound from uh, Iowa head coach uh, Jan Jensen, who, of course, was the assistant coach uh, of the Iowa Hawkeyes and is now the head coach. She's got some sound that she dropped a little earlier in the day on Caitlin Clark that I thought we should play. That kid is good, and she can pass it, and she makes you better. If you will meet her, and you will not judge it, and you'll kind of let it it make sense to you why, why her patience might come out or why she's acting a certain way, you start to figure out it has nothing to do with her stats, nothing to do with her greatness. It has everything to do that she just wants to freaking win. Yep. And she mm-hmm. believes that to win, it has to be her way. And it has to be this pass then and this shot now. Does that not sound like Kobe or Michael? You're, you're right. I mean, the great ones are like that. So Jan Jensen absolutely gets what Christy Sides doesn't get. She understands when greatness is actually in front of her. And that is something that Christy Sides has actually struggled with as the head coach of the Indiana Fever to actually open up the offense in a way that would actually allow Caitlin Clark to actually take off as a player. Now look, Clark, who is averaging just over 16 points a game, which is, you know, fantastic for any rookie in the WNBA ever. But do you think Caitlin Clark could be averaging, I don't know, north of 20 points a game fairly easily if the offensive strategy was different? And the answer to that question is absolutely yes. Look, uh, Jen Jansen absolutely understands who Christy or who Caitlin Clark is. And if she happened to be the head coach of this Indiana Fever, I guarantee they would have more wins than they have right now. Now, Caitlin Clark in her own press uh, conference after the game came out and said, look, nobody enjoys losing. And she did appear a little gloomy uh, is probably one of the best ways of putting it. Look, it is tough to go from college basketball uh, uh, straight into a very short training camp and straight into the WNBA. On the men's side, at least there's, you know, some time to prepare. There's four to five months in transition time between when you're actually drafted and when you actually start playing for that particular team. In the WNBA, you literally have like four weeks to get ready to transition from college basketball to professional basketball. And clearly, uh, Caitlin Clark would have benefited from, I'm going to say this right now, better coaching and a little bit more time. I want to know what you think, North America. If they actually do go two and five in their next seven games, will that be it for Christy Sides as the head coach of the Indiana Fever. What do you think, North America? Go ahead and drop in your comments. Hey, uh, check out our big sports website at underrated.media when you have a chance and subscribe to our newsletter. We do cover uh, the WNBA every day in that newsletter as well. For the underrated, I am Dave DeBaugh wishing you all a tremendous rest of your sports viewing day.